2 News reporter Sarah Goldberg continues our team coverage with more. Well, so many residents, they lost loved ones, they lost homes and businesses. But a year later, thanks to the help of volunteers, they're truly rebuilding. A sea of people filled the streets in Joplin Tuesday, banding together to remember and march on. When we came up out of the basement, most of our house was gone and all of our neighbors' houses were gone. Beverly and Howard Redding lost their home, but they say they're the lucky ones. I've been asked many times by people, were you affected by the storm? It doesn't matter if your house was hit or not. Everybody in this area was affected by this storm. It changed everything. In the past year, they've lived in what looks like a war zone. And they, they have no idea what it was really like until you stand in it and look all the way around. Once, once you've seen the full degree of it, it's, it's altogether different. But the Reddings say the help of Tulsa firefighters went a long way. Ten of them just showed up and just say, what can we do, chief? And they just got started and they worked hard all day long. They, they worked so up. hard and it was so awesome to see them guys show very, up. We, we, we very need that kind of help. It wasn't just them. More than 100,000 volunteers pitched in to clear debris and eventually start rebuilding. From all over, people that just would want to do it, just hand just stuff, shovels, rakes, and you, come and pick up little kids, older people. No. Now, of course, survivors we spoke with, they really want to thank volunteers, but they're going to still need help. As you know, Karen, it's going to take years to rebuild. Absolutely. You know, I was here just uh, within less than a day of that tornado, and it's amazing to see this park today compared to what it was then now, the beauty that they've brought out after all that devastation. Really it's really become else. kind of a symbol of hope, I think. Absolutely. Thank you, Sarah.